The Montville Baptist Church devotional for Tuesday, July 14th, 2020, from Call to Glory. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5, 3. Do you remember the story of the little engine that could? Remember how it kept telling itself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and then it did? Although it's an entertaining little story, nevertheless it is filled with faulty, man-made doctrine of positive thinking and the importance of having a positive attitude. The problem is that doctrine, that way of teaching, flies right in the face of Jesus' teaching in the first beatitude. Being poor in spirit has nothing to do with your finances, nor is it talking about having a bad attitude. What it essentially is talking about is having a consciousness of our need for God in every aspect of our lives. Being poor in spirit is a matter of recognizing your own poverty. It is not how a person is saved. A person is saved when they realize that without God's salvation, without God's forgiveness, without God saving them, they are hopelessly and helplessly lost and condemned already. And it doesn't stop there. As Jesus made clear, he is already saved and baptized disciples in John fifteen five. For without me, ye can do nothing. You can't, but he can. After salvation, continuing to be poor in spirit is essential to serving the Lord and is a prerequisite to him for working in and through you as a vessel that is fit for the master's use. Only after you realize that you can't, you can. Only those who recognize that they can't save, can't save themselves can be saved. Only can't can. Only those who recognize that they can't get to heaven by their own good works can get to heaven. Only can't can. Only those who realize that they can't serve God in the flesh can serve God. Only can't can. Our Heavenly Father, help us to realize that we can't. On our own, we are weak and helpless and heading to hell. We need you. We need you in every aspect of our life. I ask today, Father, that we will be humbly accept that fact and come to Jesus before it's too late. It's in his wonderful name we pray. Amen.